Will this is a flop? I don't think so. It's a Hoyoverse games. It has a special aesthetic. Hoyo games. <laughs> Subscribe, please. Uh, hi, YouTube. Hi to YouTube chat. Hi there. Uh, today we are going to be reacting to a new your video. Uh, will player quit Water and Wave for Zenless Zone Zero? A lot of people are saying that the players are quitting Water and Wave for ZZZ or that ZZZ will flop. What's the real answer? Uh, I'm going to give my opinion right now. I think that ZZZ is way more arcade, as in its plug and play. It's a bit closer to Honkai Impact 3rd. So you can probably do your dailies pretty fast and get it done. Um, it's not an open world, there's not that exploration aspect, so I really think you can do both at the same time. Now, are players gonna quit Water and Wave for ZZZ? I don't think so. Uh, and the reason why is that, well, I think a portion of the player base is gonna do that, right? The, the people who are not into exploring, maybe some people are kind of jaded from all the exploration. If they like, they played a lot of Genshin and they're not into open world anymore, they might. Um, but I think it can satisfy two different types of audience. There it is. Um, will ZZZ flop? I don't think so. It's a Hoyoverse games. It has a special aesthetic. Hoyo games have an aesthetic that is very, very well. I think they're amongst the best in the industry in terms of um, just character design. And yes, they look more childish than the character design in Wooden Ramp that's also incredibly good. Uh, but I think in terms of expressions, um, it looks better. So I think a lot of people are going to like that. I think a lot of play people are going to play ZZZ just because it's a Hoyoverse game. So, you know. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, go into it. Let's see what Stior thinks. And uh, I'll um, interject whenever I feel the need to do so or want to add my shitty opinion. I'm going to retract my wings so we can bloop, see properly and let's have a look-see. Yo, since ZZZ is coming out very soon, I wanted to make a She's video so about if ZZZ is a break from Wuthering Waves, will people quit Wuthering Waves for Zenless Zone Zero? And will the game actually be good? This video is purely my opinion, and there is a lot of misconceptions about Zenless Zone Zero that is happening these days, and I'm actually here to correct that. So first of all, so many people are saying that Zenless Zone Zero will be dead on arrival, it won't be a good game, and this is because of the first CBT of the game. The way you have to approach the content in the game wasn't that good and you know that i'm someone who criticizes hoyo a lot who criticizes genshin but since they got a lot of backlash because of the first cbt they changed a lot of things and i'm gonna tell you this the game looks great there's a lot um so for those who don't know uh personally i did not get access to the cbt but i was kind of following uh the action what was going on and essentially the problems and what people were, were very upset about is that there was a, to access the gameplay, uh, especially in the main story, you had to go through the TV mode. So essentially the TV mode was this kind of puzzle that you had to do before you got to the, to the fighting essentially. And uh, it's like a lot of puzzle, it's like doing some small shenanigans and it was taking a long time and there were a lot of it. And people were very upset because they were saying like how there is more TV mode than there is the actual combat. And it was it was annoying everybody, essentially. Um, they've made it better in the subsequent CBTs, uh, mostly CBT3, right? Uh, and people have said that it's gotten way, way better. Uh, it's faster. It's less present. Uh, and yeah, that said, the gameplay itself looks pretty good. The game obviously looks great. Uh, animations are fantastic, expressions are beautiful. Um, I've heard people say that the game is very button mashy, which I don't think is necessarily a bad idea. Like, I know people were like, oh, Water and Wave is gonna be the uh, dark souls of gachas, and Water and Wave is challenging, but let's keep in mind, we are playing with level 60 characters, and people are saying that the challenge is essentially fighting holograms that are level 80. Yeah, it's challenging, but we're obviously under-geared, under-level. Once we are going to catch up, it's not going to be that hard, guys. I I'm sorry to break it to you. <laughs> uh, so I think 
Honestly, Watering Wave can mostly be completed just by button mashing, even the quote-unquote hard content. It's only very hard at the moment because we are not there yet, but that's gonna change over time. Um, hopefully, hey, I would be glad to be wrong. I would love it if they added more endgame content that's gonna be really challenging. But right now, it's not there yet. It is what it is. And I think this is a being easy or button mashy is not really a problem either. I, I don't think it's a big deal. So yeah, there it is. A lot of diversity in the gameplay. They fixed a lot of the content in the game. There's more things to do. And for the people who like story, the story looks very, very promising. So I don't like this hate. Actually, talking about the story, uh, there was a video from Ashikai, I believe. She kind of went quickly over the story of uh, Zenless Zone Zero, and it seems to be very, very interesting. It talks about, um, uh, it, it's uh, it's very uh, metaphysical, uh, kind of like uh, Genshin and other games, and Honkai Pack 3rd, and uh, Star World to some extent. Not fully there yet, but to some extent, and it's a lot about um, soul and what makes you a human, and a lot of stuff like that. So um, it's also based on very old texts and religions or way of thinking. Um, like, if you don't know, all of the Hoyoverse games are based on a lot of uh, different school of thinking. Uh, Genshin Impact is very rooted in agnosticism, for example, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, moving on coming towards Zenla Zone Zero, which is unjustifiable because of clueless people who didn't see the other beta. Now, let's talk about Zenla Zone Zero and Weathering Waves. This is the main thing that I want to talk about in the video. So, the launch of Zenla Zone Zero is gonna be huge. Regardless of what people think, I'm pretty sure most of you want to try the game. And I'm glad that we're getting... Uh, I, ju I just want to correct myself. I said agnosticism. I meant gnosticism. <laughs> I'm sorry. The version 1.1 in three or four ah, days baby, for Modern Waves, so because then this coming in like two weeks is a very good timing, and it will definitely be a break from Weathering Waves. Because at this, it is a good timing, and also we gotta keep in mind that um, Hoyoverse have these. Um, they are releasing their game with a in a schedule that makes it so there won't be any dry moments for their games, essentially. So you, you play Genshin, there's the Genshin patch, then there's going to be the Zenless patch, then there's going to be the ZZZ patch, etc, etc. So if you play whole of the Oyoverse game, you're going to end up in this schedule routine where every time you finish what you had to do in Genshin, then you get some new content in, Z in ZZZ. Once you're done what's in ZZZ, you're going to get new content in Star Rail, etc, etc. So the more game the releases, the less you're going to end up in dry period if you play the Hoyoverse games. Because one of the game is always going to be updated as soon as the other previous cycle for the previous game is finished. So that's kind of crazy. I actually really like it. Because I love when I feel like there's always something new. And uh, with games like Watering Ways coming in, it fits even more stuff for me to do all the time. And it makes me happy because I get to run around after butterflies because I'm insane. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I don't think that um, ZZZ was specifically is specifically releasing the 4th of July to counter watering waves. I don't think so. Now, what I will say when it comes to the marketing, I do think they chose specifically certain dates to announce um, to announce uh, their release period and their live stream to be on specifically the date for some of the Watering Waves releases is, it's true. I think there is an aspect of it, but for the release of ZZZ, because they have to fit it in their normal Genshin Star Rail schedule for releases, um, I think it was always meant to be the 4th of July. Uh, there it is. Now, they're doing their 1.0 livestream event on the same day as Watering Waves 1.1 release. Uh, they announced the release of the game just after like Water Wave came out. That's quote unquote calculated. Um, I think so. I'm speculating, obviously, but I do think it's a little bit. Uh, it's quite plausible. 
this time we will not even have content in withering Wiz, and that's something that we should understand you can play both games so will it be a break yes but will people make zealous zone zero their main game instead of weathering waves the amount of content in zenless currently will not be enough for it to be a main game but the main thing is i look at zenless like the hoyo game that will be full of end game content in the future so for people who want to no life zenless zone zero i probably think that this will happen like in one year from now zenless will have so much content and even more than hsr and this is like an approach from hoyoverse they're trying to you know make every game that they make a little different yeah, be so, so when cool. i look at it from this perspective yes i think that zenless in the future will be even better but even with saying mm -hmm. that the game isn't difficult we will not find something as exciting as the hologram bosses in weathering waves yeah, i'm not agreed. seeing myself quitting weathering waves for zealous zone zero even though the gameplay is very similar weathering waves is better in some things and even zealous is better in some other things so for this question i think that most people are not gonna quit weathering waves for zealous zone zero I agree. but what i know for sure is that zealous zone zero is going to be optimized at least better than weathering waves Oil yeah has more experience and they know what they do with this and i think that a lot of people who still um i i think Hoyoverse in general has better polish on their games. I know that when Genshin came out, there was a lot of issues, but when Starwell came out, it was way better, obviously. And I think they now have a lot of experience. We gotta keep in mind that when Genshin came out, it was the first time with this, um, with this altered. I think so. I think so. Maybe I'm stupid, but I think it was the first time with that uh, special uh, Unity modified engine. Um, and I think they're just getting better at this, uh, right? And also, we had a lot of uh, CBTs, and the game was good, and the game was running properly. Um, so I, I do agree with this. I fully agree with that. It's got to be more polished. It probably will have not as much issues. We know the quality of their voice acting. Um, we have a good precedence to know that it's probably not going to have as many issues as Watering Waves had. Are those issues ruining Watering Waves? No. But it's still nice, especially because there's a lot of people who are of the mind that, you know, first impression is what matters. If people think the game is bad on release, they will never give it a shot when it's fixed. That's just how it is, unfortunately. Also, I do think that while Watering Waves is uh, very good, I think it's not for everybody. And not everybody wants the hard content. Not everybody is into the difficulty of the hologram stuff. Uh, because let's be real, those are still phone games. A lot of a lot of people playing on phone want a casual experience to play on the bus, on the train, uh, whatever it is, depending on the culture, right? And I think that uh, when it comes to people playing on phone, they tend to be a bit more casual. So they might prefer something that's a bit easier, actually, like ZZZ, uh, than Watering Waves. So while I don't think that people who are into Watering Waves and still into Watering Waves are going to quit for ZZZ. But I think that some people that are playing Wooden Wave as a way to stop gap their boredom until ZZZ come out, they might quit, obviously. I, I think there are some players that are trying Wooden Wave and not really be being into it and they want something a bit more uh, fast-paced um, into like their experience itself because they don't have to traverse the entire open world. Uh, might prefer ZZZ for sure. So, uh, yeah. And obviously, there's players who are going to do both, right? There's a lot of people with a lot of time on their hand, like me, because I'm pathetic, uh, will have enough time to play all the gacha games. So, yeah. Anyway. cannot play <laughs> Wuthering Ways are gonna be able to play Zelda Zone Zero. And this is actually a good thing Agreed. for the game, especially for those people. But I'm expecting... Yeah, uh, a last point regarding phone games. Um, the difficulty on phone is way higher, especially when you consider fast-moving enemies. Um, that will really put a strain on the camera efficiency. <laughs> uh, following the morning eggs on phone is atrocious, I'm just saying. <laughs>
getting these people to be free to play is because if you don't have a good phone or a good pc you don't have that much money to spend on a gacha game unless you want to be a loser with your life but these are gonna be free to Jam. play people but they will give viewership to the game they will contribute to making the game even more successful so i yeah. wanted to make this video to assure people that zenless zone zero is going to be a very good game we will have so much fun in the game as any new gacha game and then the cycle will begin again and we will even have more fun in future updates but will zenless be better than weathering waves i think that zenless zone zero will give us some other content that we do not have in weathering waves that is more casual that we might play it for some time and enjoy both because let me call kuro stands a little here you know that i make a lot of weathering waves content you know that it's my favorite game in hmm. the last month but you stands need to stop hating us zealous zone zero just because it's a contestant <laughs> or a contender with weathering waves this is very good actually we need it's so annoying why is it always like this genshin impacts yeah, we love Genshin Impact. We love Ming picking. What? HSR is coming out. That's gonna flop. It's gonna be terrible. It's gonna be garbo. No one's gonna like Watering Waves. Oh, it's pretty good. Okay, moving on to HSR. What? Watering Waves? That's gonna be terrible. It's Kuro Games. They suck at making games. HSR is the best. Hoyoverse is the best. It's gonna be awesome. Wow, Watering is pretty good. Okay, I'm playing Watering Waves now. What? Z, Z, Z? Oh, that's gonna be so bad. Wave is way harder, it's better, it's open world. This is gonna suck. <laughs> I can't wait to hear. Man, Azur Promelia is bad. Flying mouse. Oh, we're gonna miss all the exploration. Oh, there's only girls in the game. It's a game. Wow, it's good. Okay, what about Project Moogan? Project Moogan is gonna suck. <laughs> People are so annoying, I swear to God. <laughs> Yeah. Zenless Zone Zero to succeed so to make Weathering Waves even better. And we need Weathering Waves to succeed to make Zenless even better. Like, these people are just so afraid that their money will be lost. Like, you're yeah. spending money on gacha games from the start. And I hate when these people pretend that they know anything about developing a game or how a game depends only on them to be successful. No, these people do <sighs> not have any idea of how the gaming industry works. They only play Genshin or Weathering Waves. They only play, like, two games, which are gacha games to be fair both are still in early stage we don't know what approach yeah. will they go with i really hope that weathering waves adds more end game a lot of people Me want too. that and a lot of other people do not want it and then they are afraid of it happening but we need that one company that will try to do this okay and i hope that zealous or weathering waves produce this and make this a new meta in the gacha sphere also guys i appreciate the support in the latest videos that's it i finished yapping also how the hell do we have less subs than hex juice <laughs> <laughs> That's a what? <laughs> also, I will say, um, just in terms of what we've seen before, uh, we, in, when it comes to PGR, Punishing Grey Raven, which is the previous game from Kuro Games, they do have a lot of endgame stuff to do. So hopefully that means that we will get more endgame contact in the future. Um, so yeah, this is, um, I'm excited for that and I, I hope they will follow kind of a, a same idea, um, and add more stuff like that. So I, I'm kind of, uh, kind of glass half full kind of gal when it comes to this topic. Uh, and I'm hoping they're going to reproduce this kind of effort they put into PGR to give us more to do in the end game in the future. So yeah, staying hopeful, crossing my fingers, all the good good. Uh, ZZZ, I don't really expect ZZZ to have a lot of like hardcore end game kind of gameplay, uh, but hopefully they're going to take what they learn from Star Rail and from Watering Ways and uh, how the Genshin community reacted to all that to hopefully give us more stuff in ZZZ as well. So yeah, um, awesome. Also, uh, the <laughs> Random shot to extras was so funny. Subscribe now. That was the video. Bye bye. Bye. Ah. I love his uh, outro. Character so pretty. So pretty. And I I'm always down for a fan of uh, Chainsaw Man.